why Angelina here again I just wanted to stop by and give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do heart shape distressing I had put the picture of this on my Instagram account which is at blueprint DIY and um, someone commented and asked me how I did it and so I thought I'd just um, give you guys a quick tutorial on how I did it. it's very simple um, it's not hard at all but this method is how I do all my distressing so um, it works for both not just heart shape distressing or shape distressing it works for just regular distressing um, in general especially if you're like me and you want calculated results I um, have like looked at a lot of tutorials on distressing then and I like this method, um, the method I use, because I know exactly what outcome I want. And so I want to achieve that without um, having a whole lot of room for mistakes. So this is the method that I use. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to lay your jeans down flat. What you need for this project is something to mark on your denim. I use that last piece of that bar soap because it has a nice edge and it washes out. But you can use whatever you like, just make sure that it's washable. And you're also going to need a seam ripper. Those are the only two things that you're going to need for this project. And you may, and you may want to get some scissors for the end um, part that I'll show you. So I take my bar soap and you can use whatever you want to mark on your fabric. But you know, just be careful that it's something that is washable. So I just draw a heart freestyle. You know, if you want to print one out and use it as a template, that's fine. But I just did my freestyle. And I, you know, you want to draw the heart on wherever you want to put the heart on the denim. Then you're going to take your seam ripper and you're going to cut, use the seam ripper to make cuts along the wide part of the heart. I, I guess it kind of depends on which way you turn the heart, but in this case, when you're doing denim, you want to go horizontally to, um, you want to go horizontally along the denim. Fabric is woven, and so if you understand the weaving of fabric, you when you, a lot of distressing, you have the lines that go across your knees or across your legs, so you want to go horizontal with those lines. So even if you turn your heart a different way, you always want to take the seam ripper and go horizontal with the lines. And you kind of want to make your line as straight as possible. Um, that'll keep you um, from getting so many long threads that come out and you'll get more of the threads that go across like this. And you take your seam ripper and you put it in and you want to just follow the outline of the heart and you just make little strips down I would say about a quarter of an mm, yeah about a quarter of an inch every quarter of an inch you make a horizontal line with the seam ripper a horizontal rip with the seam ripper and so you can see me doing this here and you make your lines and then what you're going to do and this next part is easy but it's tedious um, it's a little bit tedious and so what you're going to do is take a little section that you've ripped and you begin using your fingers and using the seam ripper and you're going to take separate the little threads so you can get the other threads out of there and so you can see me as I'm working this um, pulling out the white threads and so I can pull the blue threads away and you just meticulously move through until you have the whole heart um, the whole heart free uh, pretty much free of the blue threads when you get to the edges of the heart you're going to use your seam ripper to pull the blue threads free of the white threads and so you want to pull them so that they're along the edge of your soap line or chalk line or whatever you use to mark your heart. And so you push those threads, you pull those threads towards that line and you just keep working with your seam ripper until all of those threads are along the line of the heart. And then, you know, once you've done all that, 
when you get to the end, if you want it a little bit cleaner, you know, a lot of people like the really distressed and really, you know, rough look, and that's fine. You'll just leave all the threads. But if you want it a little bit cleaner, a little bit more of a defined heart, then you're going to push those threads, you know, out of the way to the corners. And then you're going to take your scissors and just cut along the edge. You'll see this one that I did, um, you know, and it's a little bit more defined, a little bit cleaner. And then, you know, if you don't, then you just don't cut it. And then you have a little bit more of a rough look. But you'll probably want to cut a little bit, especially up at that um, tip part, um, the middle part of that heart. You'll probably want to cut some of those uh, threads free. And that is it, you guys. Um, a very simple tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys decide to try it, or if you want to show me some of your awesome thrift finds or other DIY tutorials, just hashtag my blueprint DIY or send it to me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And I will feature you on my other social pages. So um, if you have not subscribed, please do so now. And thank you to all my new subscribers. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.